Hi, my name is Lev Grossman. Uh, I'm the author of The Silver Arrow, and I'm going to read you a very short excerpt from the book. Um, it takes place in, uh, on a train in a library car, which is a train car with a lot of books in it. Uh, and it's a conversation between an angry porcupine, uh, a heron, a snake, a fishing cat, um, and an 11 year old girl named Kate. And it goes like this. I would like everybody to be clear, the porcupine said, that I have approximately 30,000 quills on my body. They're mostly for defense, but believe me, they can be lethal. The other animals looked at each other. I don't know about all of you, but I'm very frightened. The fishing cat rolled onto her back on the couch, paws in the air, and stretched exactly like a house cat would. She didn't look very frightened. Me too, the snake said. I would shut my eyes in terror, but I don't have any eyelids. Really? Kate said. How's that possible? I have a transparent scale over each eye. Much more elegant than eyelids. But don't you ever want to close your eyes? Not really, the snake said. Do you like licking them now? I don't want to brag, the heron said, but I have three eyelids. Wait, what? It's true. Upper eyelid, lower eyelid, plus a nictitating membrane. I'm not even listening, said the snake, because I also don't have any ears. Or a nose. I smell with my tongue. Animals were a lot weirder than Kate had realized. I am very much wishing that I had never evolved ears right now, the porcupine said. Maybe you could read a book, Kate said brightly. Lots of good books here in the library car. That would be nice, the cat said, but we can't read. The train was slowing down again. They were coming to another station. I'd better go. Kate stood up, kind of relieved. It was nice meeting you all. She slipped out, though honestly she was worried that they would all kill one another if they weren't supervised. As an afterthought, she wondered who would win if they did have, uh, if they did all have a fight. She thought it would probably be the porcupine.